We're here with AM Commerce head men's basketball coach Jared von Rosenberg as the Lions get set to kick off the 2018 19 season. Coach, on Monday, you got to get one, uh, one final scrimmage in. You went down and faced uh, UT Rio Grande Valley down there in Edinburgh and had a really good showing against them. Uh, talk about your thoughts on that scrimmage. Oh, well, I, th I thought it was great for our guys. Um, it was a good opportunity to, you know, you, you play an exhibition, um, the lights are on, the scores kept obviously the referees it's it's different than a scrimmage where you have refs and you keep scoring a scrimmage but you know a scrimmage you can go out there and there's no fans in the stands you can you can stop the scrimmage and, and talk about something if you need to you get kind of get unlimited timeouts I mean, this is a real game and it was a it counted for an exhibition for us but a game for them so you know they were playing to win as a, a game that counted on their schedule so we got to see a, you know a really good effort from another team that scouted us and did a good job of taking us away um, from what we try to do so it was, overall it was really good you know I think we started very slow um, and give them a lot of credit for that taking us out of our offense not letting us get to spots on the floor uh, and then we settled in a little bit and you know as I expected to settle in I, I was hoping we settle in a little bit quicker um, but we settled in that second half and we're able to make plays for our teammates and have better spacing offensively get some stops string some stops together um, so it was good all in all to you know Throw out the score. Obviously, every time we step on the floor, we're trying to win. Um, we're trying to have more points than the opponent. But um, it was a good learning experience. It was good to see our guys come back and, uh, you know, make it a game where it could have got out of hand if we didn't stick together. Yeah, and you talk about settling in down uh, 14, 15 points there in that first half. You came back to tie the game in the last couple minutes. Uh, so a story of your teams in that your first year here is you've been, been in pretty much every single game that you've been that you've uh, coached. Uh, talk about the effort of your guys this early in the season to show that kind of fight. Well, it, as soon as we realize that it's it's a lot less about offense and, and more about getting stops and string stops together. I mean, you could score all, you you could you could go one hundred percent in the second half, but if you don't get stops, you're still going to be down the same amount of points. You got to string stops together, um, and your offense will come if you just keep playing and keep getting stops. You know, we want our defense to lead to our offense. Well, if you're taking the ball out of the net and teams are making, you know, getting to the foul line or, or, or making baskets on you, it makes it really hard to, to have a flow and get into offense quickly. So it, it all starts on the defensive end. We're trying to stops, um, string stops together, and then, you know, go have fun and kind of space the floor and go make plays on offense. And now, now you head on, the, head on the road to face two familiar opponents in Oklahoma Christian and Newman. You faced them in the first two games last year. Talk about the challenges those two teams faced. They gave you two really good games last year and those two wins. Absolutely. You know, very similar to, to our situation. Uh, they returned a lot of players. Um, Coach at Newman, it was his first year last year, same as, same as here. And, uh, you know, I believe the coach of Oklahoma Christian is going to his third year. So, you know, it's kind of a unique scenario. Last year we all kind of played each other. No one really knew what to expect from our own teams and the opponent um, with new staffs and everything. But, you know, I expect them to be very good. Both both coaches uh, did a great job. And, you know, just we obviously follow our opponents throughout the year and we know what the Heartland's doing and um, look at those. And both of those teams had really, really strong finishes. Their teams kept getting better over the course of the year and they both finished very strong. So... I expect them just to build on that and it be two very good, tough opponents that, you know, we better come ready to, to, to play hard, play together, get in a stance, try to guard a little bit and, and put ourselves in position like we did last year. Just give ourselves a chance in that last four minutes and then hopefully we can go make some plays and make one more play than they do. Yeah, and in this early early on in the season, teams are still trying to establish their identity, but you got to find ways to get wins in the early season. Talk about what you're hoping to see from the team in these first couple games that will really set you up for success later in, later in the year. Well, it's just what we've been working on since day one. I, you know, I want to – the effort we play with on the defensive end, staying in a stance, trying to, you know, guard how we're trying to guard as a unit and not one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, five guys guarding the ball at all times. Um, and then when a shot goes up, doing everything we can to, to make contact and, and, and go get a rebound. I mean, th those are the things that, you know, I think we did at, you know, we turned the ball over 23 times at Rio Grande Valley, um, which obviously led to a lot of problems defensively just because we're playing catch up in transition. But, you know, in the half court, I thought we were for a first time out, 
guys were locked into trying to do the things we've been working on since the, the first workout, September 4th. Uh, and then we did a good job on the glass. I think we were plus 18 or plus 20 on the glass. Um, those are the things that I want to see. Those are the things I want our identity to be. Um, and everything after that, you know, we'll, we're trying to get better offensively all throughout the year. That'll never end. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to the kickoff of the 2018-19 season. The Lions head to Lawton, Oklahoma this week for two games. They face Oklahoma Christian on Friday at 5.30 p.m. and then face Newman on Saturday at 2. You can find links to live stats and video on lionathletics.com. Coach, best of luck this week. Thanks, Marcus. Go Lions.